Today is the day we've got Chris here and Seth from Cage Kits. We've got the car all balled up and dotted up for 3D scanning. He's got the amazing Preaform. What model is this? This is a Handy Scan Max. Handy Scan Max. The big daddy. Seems like seventy thousand dollars. If you guys can believe that. Way too much money. <laughs> so this Lasers. thing's gonna this thing's gonna rip through the 3D scan. As you can see, we've got the super cool calibrated magnetic balls which are clipped to the car or mag magnetized to the car what we're trying to say <laughs> and then a bunch of dots on everything that is not steel so this is gonna be really cool to see them go through the process of scanning it once we do the exterior we're gonna do the interior we've got a couple balls on the inside harness will have to flip out of the way but uh yeah i'm super excited to see how this turns out He's planning to go all over the place and do road racing, maybe some drifting, maybe some time attack, you know, all those kind of fun things. So I'm trying to make a very well-grounded cage for, for him. And what better car to do it in than this beautiful F87. Also will fit an F22 from what I hear. I don't know all of the ins and outs of the BMW stuff and what crosses over, but at the end of the day, sick car, gonna be a cool roll cage. Get to see the technology that we get to use from Creeform to make this happen and follow through some of the design steps and uh, you know get to a sick finish result. Plus, he's a little balled out here with the the door cards, that guy, and <laughs> which is an OEM piece by the way. And this, like, dude, carbon chip and fiber for all the good things. Yep. Is this an OEM piece too? It is. Yep. Damn. BMW those are like fifteen hundred dollars for these <laughs> pieces. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You can already see the the shape of the roof and everything on the on the screen. This is like more of the back of the car. You got the roof line here. Super cool. People want so many different sizes too. Whereas DOM, it's either inch and three quarter, 195 or 120, or inch and a half, mm -hmm. 195 or 120. It's a lot easier to keep around. I mean, most people <coughs> want DOM, we right? We go through. What are we doing right now? Let's see how many. Well, Black Friday used up like 60,000 feet into it. Five miles here. I think that's a fucking great job. Guys, we've gone ahead and put the roof on, scanned what, what looks to be said. most what of the interior. Like, <laughs> for sure. Like, um, oh, look at all this. Look at all that. We got a whole ass car here. Boom. It's coming. Is that one? Yep. Or is that two layered on yeah, top of each One, two, three, four, five oh, wow. scans. So sick. That's all in there. In Real your good, opinion, how is it turning out? Uh, awesome. Really good. Tria 4 makes one of the nicest scanners, and this thing is literally ripped through these scans. I'm blown away at how quickly it was able to get the data to make the actual, I don't even know what do you call it. I want to call it a mesh, but it I, is I really. The mesh. The so mesh. On point cloud data. Point cloud data. Killer. Killer. You can see all those dots everywhere. The cool looking thing, but so uh, sick. Point cloud data is the, just the math that's behind it. This is what's going on. You see all those all little, these little dots. dots. Each one of these dots has an XYZ location. In up on the screen, it's so fine. Yeah, it's so sick. And you see that. So all of those, and then that's where the software comes into play. You know, how it really works on getting these dots spread out evenly right. and then around detailed areas it tightens up the 
dots, so yeah. it's a lot more detailed. Yeah. That's so sick, dude. Yeah, that's what it's capturing. Who, it's capturing all those points. Who is smart enough to like take this data and turn it into like a software? Like, just, like I don't know. It? Yeah, who's smart enough to figure out that a laser bouncing back into a lens is like, oh shit, I can read that. Like that's genius. With some dumbass behind it. And then this. put a software <laughs> where it can do all that and fine tune the dots based on the contour and yeah. like that's insane. Months, years now take hours. Exactly. It's crazy. All right guys, so we ended up cutting the inner structure out or the outer structure, whatever you want to consider it. So we get to the actual strut tower itself. So we can weld directly to that. Coolest thing about the scan data is we were able to scan the wheel well. And after having the scan data from the inside, we could actually layer the two and see the gap, which uh, as you can tell, it was actually a pretty big gap. So that was kind of mind blowing to see that all happen in real time. Rob's a genius Dude, it over here. so much easier. Kind of peel away the layers yeah. of the onion. Yeah, it was sick. Rob's a genius with this thing. He was working it. Like it was nothing, like he'd been doing this forever, which he has, but I was just surprised to see how quick and easy it was for him to do. Really uh, making me consider getting one of these things so I can use that in real life, just with random things like my air vents, the little intake vents for the brake ducts, we could see one side to the other side was just off. And so the capabilities with this thing is just unparalleled. It's un, yeah. It's <laughs> Unequivocal. I don't even know. Yeah, it's insane. They're about to scan me now. I'm gonna sit down in the chair with my helmet on, which is really cool, and this so they can put me in the cage and make sure everything fits. Super yeah. sick. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that content of us scanning the car and scanning myself so that they could make some proper cage designs and also fit me inside of the cage and make sure that I fit. We completely gutted the car. We completely scanned the interior and the exterior. We cut out the rear partial shelf. We cut out the shock tower there so that we could get the cage to tie into the shock mount so that all the forces of the shock are tied into the cage and being sent throughout the chassis, make that section very strong. Um, going to a you know, full coilover setup from a divorce setup. That area of the chassis really wasn't intended to carry the entire weight of the car and all the forces of the suspension and road bumps and whatnot. So reinforcing, I think is a good idea. Some people do, some people don't. I felt that it was very necessary to tie the cage into that area. Anyhow, the cage is almost done. It's been getting designed for the last few weeks and it should be coming soon. Huge shout out to Cage Kits for sponsoring the builds and uh, flying all the way out here to scan the car. I'm super excited to see the final product. Hopefully you guys are too. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, and we'll see you in the next one.